Thanks for watching. In this short video, we will cover the RV55 router from Sierra Wireless. We will walk you through what comes in the box and walk you through the different parts of the router. We will start by looking at what comes in the box. The router has built in holes that allow you to use the provided screws to mount. You also have the option of mounting it using a DIN mount, which is sold separately. To make it simple, screws and washers are provided, or you can use your own if you prefer. The router comes with a standard DC power cable, which is ideal for most industrial applications. An AC adapter is also available from your supplier. Finally, there is a quick start guide to get you up and running quickly. We will be covering steps 1 and 2 in this video. We will cover the other steps in future videos. We will kick things off on the front of the router by looking at the SIM door. Like it sounds, this is where you insert the SIM card. To access the SIM slot, simply remove the SIM door with the screwdriver. Once removed, you can access the SIM slot and insert the SIM card. Be sure to replace the door once you are done. Next, there is a reset button on the front of the device. This button is used to reset the router when it is not functioning as desired. And finally, before we move on to the LED lights, there are two Wi-Fi antenna connectors if you have opted for the Wi-Fi enabled model. Let's move over to the LED lights, which provide a great deal of valuable information. Starting from the left and moving to the right, the first light is the network light. A solid green light will indicate that you are connected to an LTE network, while a solid amber light will indicate you're using 2 or 3G. Flashing green may indicate one of two things. It may mean your device is attempting to connect to the desired cell network. As well, if the pattern is 3 seconds on, 1 second off, it means you are ready to connect via Wi-Fi network to the internet. Flashing red is never desired, as it means there is no cellular network available. Finally, if it alternates between a flashing red and a flashing amber, this signifies you have an issue with your firmware that you need to attend to. Related to the network light is the signal light. You always want to have a solid green light as it signifies a strong signal. Think 4 to 5 bars on your phone. A solid amber light is not quite as good as it means you have a fair signal, so more like 2 to 3 bars on your phone. Flashing amber is not ideal, as it means you have a poor signal and should consider moving or using a better antenna. Finally, you have a flashing red, which is never good. This means you have minimal or no signal to be able to use. The activity light does just what it sounds. It lets you know when your router is sending or receiving data. A flashing green will indicate the traffic is being sent either over Wi-Fi or the Ethernet port while a flashing red will let you know it's being done over a serial port. If you happen to be using both methods at the same time, the light will flash amber. The final light is the power light. If there is no light seen at all, there is insufficient power being delivered to the router. You really want solid green, as it indicates an ideal power level is being delivered. If your device happens to be in standby mode, this will be indicated by a solid red light. The colors may also be seen as flashing to indicate certain activity taking place. A flashing green light occurs when you push the reset button to indicate when to release the button to reboot the router. A flashing red indicates when to release the reset button to return the router to its factory default settings. Finally, after pressing the reset button for more than 20 seconds, a flashing amber light tells you when to release the button to put the router into recovery mode. There may be some times when all lights come on at the same time to indicate certain activity is occurring. If they're all green, for instance, this means the radio module is being updated, while all of them showing amber means that the device's firmware is being updated. You may also see them as all red if the device is in recovery mode. Moving to the back of the router, we will start with the two cellular antennas. The first antenna is the main cellular option, while the second one helps to create a desired signal environment called diversity. You should always use two antennas. If you desire to retrieve location-based information from your router, you would attach your GPS antenna to the GPS port. The RV55 has an Ethernet port for you to connect your chosen device. 
There are two LED lights that will let you know the status of the port. The left LED light indicates your current connection speed. Solid green means 1000 megabits per second, while solid amber means 100 megabits per second. If the light is off completely, you are transmitting at 10 megabits per second. The right LED will be solid amber if a link is present and flashing amber if there is activity across the port. There is a serial port as well for you to connect your devices to. This port is commonly used in many industrial applications. The final port that you can connect a device with is the USB port. Do keep in mind that this port is not always ideal for a mobile environment. And finally, there is the power receptacle. This is where you can connect the provided power cable or choose to use an AC adapter based on your needs to power the device. Many thanks for taking time to watch this video. We love to hear from you. Feel free to reach out to us using one of the methods below.